And we've been, of course, keeping up to date with the latest on the situation in Gaza this morning. Many people have very strong views around what is happening in the Middle East. Uh, they've had those strong views for a very long time, but three marches going to be held in Europe today. There are growing concerns of what is happening in that bombardment, the air bombardment, the ground assault from Israel, could lead to a rise in anti-Semitism here in Britain. It's what to Barnaby Rain, who's organised the Jewish block of the Stop the War March, which is taking place in London today. Barnaby, good morning. Good morning. Why do you think uh, this is happening, Barnaby? Why do you think that, um, that, that there is a need for you and others to, to make a stand? Well, I think the reason it's so important is, is, is twofold, really. Firstly, Israel likes to claim that all uh, criticism of its policies must only be, be fueled, can only be fueled by anti Semitism, uh, which is both a cynical attempt, I think, to shut down debate by intimidating people who are disgusted by the scale of Israeli violence, but it's also, I think, a genuine demonstration of Israel's inability to understand that people can be shocked by massacres without having an ulterior motive. So that's very important. Um, it's very important to present to the world. Uh, a, a, an understanding that the people are opposed to Israel without being anti-Semites, and that the people, regardless of their religious faith, whether they're Muslims, Christians, or indeed like me, Jews, can be disgusted by Israeli policy. Why do you think, though, then, that, that the Israeli government and, and the Israeli people, to a large extent, are so entrenched in their position? I mean, we've been in this situation for decades yeah. now. We keep coming back to the same point. Nothing ever really changes. Well, I think those whom you have abused, you customarily grow to hate. I think that um, there is a very, very deep and entrenched dynamic, as you say, within Israeli society, that Israel is in this uh, quite uh, fatal position of maintaining an occupation over people who don't want to be occupied, of blockading the Gaza Strip, and as a result, infuriating millions of Palestinians, um, and knowing uh, that they therefore always face the threat of violence from those whom they have infuriated, those whom they are occupying and oppressing. I think the only way then for a long-term solution is for Israel to end that occupation and sit down, rather than blockading the people of Gaza, for example, to talk to them. Have you received any negative feedback from uh, other Jewish people in this country because you are anti-Israel? Some, but actually one of the, uh, of course, uh, but actually one of the uh, wonderful and heartening, but also quite important things to note, has been the very, very high level of support we've received, not only from people who aren't Jews. So I was on a huge demonstration in solidarity with Gaza uh, uh, last weekend in London, and uh, the crowd, many people Muslims, uh, were chanting, are we anti-Semites? No, are we anti-Zionists? Yes, people are very, very clear to get that message across. But also from Jews, who've often felt alienated from Israel and from those who claim to be the official voices of, of our community, who actually don't represent us. Um, of course, there are lots and lots of Jewish people who firmly support Israel, but there's also an alternative view, and it's very important that gets some their time too. But, but it, do you think there is a rise of, of anti-Semitism as a result of what the Israeli government is doing, I mean, in the UK, but actually on a, on a more global scale as well? Uh, I think that's always a danger. Uh, so I think that, I mean, look, anti-Semitism has existed in Europe for millennia. Um, and we should be talking, and we should, to be honest, be talking about anti-Semitism not just now, but the third biggest party in Hungary is an openly, explicitly anti-Semitic party job. If an anti-Semitic party in Ukraine got two million votes, that's nothing to do with Israel. That's to do with deep-seated racism across mm. Europe. So anti-Semitism isn't just about Israel. But I do also think that when Israel claims to be the voice of all Jews, to speak on behalf of all Jews, um, it inevitably, uh, on the part of those who are angry with it, can provoke anti-Semitism. That's why it's so vital that the people say, actually, this is about an occupier and an occupied people. It's got nothing to do, really, with all the religion of, of each side is pretty irrelevant. Well, it'll be fascinating to hear your thoughts this one. What is clearly a, a very difficult and controversial issue. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me.